let's go back to our original problem of summing all the numbers from 1 to 100. To do this, we'll need to use something called a counter, an integer variable that will start at 1, then increase by 1 every time until it gets to 100. When we combine this counter with the while loop, we'll get our answer. We'll also use another variable called sum, which will add the value of the counter to during each loop iteration. Sum will start at 0, then it will have 1 added to it, then 2, etc., until we get to 100. Now that we know all the theory behind how to solve this problem, let's write some code that actually does it. First, we'll define and declare our counter and sum variables. Then, we'll make our while loop. We want our loop to continue until the counter has reached 100, so our condition will be counter less than or equal to 100. Inside the curly braces of the while loop, we'll want to add whatever the value of the counter is to the sum. Then, increase the counter by 1. If you remember from an earlier lesson, we can make this code simpler without changing what it does. Finally, outside of the loop, we'll want to print the value of sum to get our answer. The finished code looks like this. In the code above, we build on this code and explore the true potential of while loops. Check it out. When you're done, you'll move on to another kind of loop in the next lesson. Bye, Bye Supercoders! Coders.